Hi, I'm your Kingdom Spiritual Transformational and Life Purpose Life Coach and Mentor, Latricia Booker. And I am popping in on you to tell you that they want to trade places with you. That's right, Kingdom people, they want to trade places with you. And so, Kingdom people, I'm going to actually lead this message with Isaiah 5 and 20. And it says, what sorrow for those who say that evil is good and good is evil, that dark is light and light is dark, that bitter is sweet and sweet is bitter. And so, king of people, what's happening here is that there are people who they want to trade places with you. And here's the thing, they're calling they're talking down on what you're doing. They're talking down on who you are. They're talking down on your character. Um, they're slandering your name. And they're calling what you're doing for God evil. They're calling you an evil person. They're saying that you're not that. They're saying that, they, that you're not of God and what you're doing is dark, even though they know that it is of God. And so what's happening, of course, when they're doing these things, they're spewing all these things out. They're actually practicing evil. <laughs> they're the evil ones. And so, again, they're calling your evil, your good, I'm sorry, evil. But they're trying to present themselves as, as though they're good. Wow, trying to slander you, <laughs> which we know is not good. Wow, um, trying to diminish you and your character and who you are, what you're doing, even sometimes with, within them all selves. Sometimes people are in their head about you, you know, talking down about you in their head, trying to convince them that you're not good, but they're watching you. They're stalking you. They're tuned in. They're obsessed with you is what I'm hearing, but you're evil. Why would they be so obsessed with an evil person? Let me share something with you all. This happened this morning. God said something to me, and it was so clear. He said to me, and it's not that it's not something that I know, but the way he put it today, the way he downloaded it into my spirit today, it just took me, I don't know, it just, it was on a whole nother level of revelation, and it's like I got it in another way. But he said to me, those who try to talk down on you, those who try to look down on you, those who try to slander your name, say you're not there, say you, they have so much negativity to say about you. He said, they want to be like you. They want to be what they see in you. And because they know they're not that, because of all of their evil ways and some other things too, before it got to be evil, it didn't have to go evil, but people just Instead of dealing with their stuff <laughs> and doing the proper things the proper way, they go go to they turn to darkness. They yeah, they end up becoming evil. Didn't necessarily start off that way, but it became that. But the thing is, because they know they're not that what you are, and it doesn't always mean that they can't be for what it is for them. The thing is this kingdom, people, everybody is not called to what you're called to. Everyone is not anointed for what you're anointed for. But if they would get in touch with what God has put, imputed in them and follow God in that, then they will find their way too. But the thing is what they see in you, they want. And part of what I what I just said, you going within, doing the work within yourself, following God. Is what that they don't do, yet they want to be what they see in you without doing the work. So again, king of people, they want to trade places with you. They want they're calling what you're doing evil, but they want to be what they see in you, which is good. But they can't be that good while they're doing evil. It's impossible. God brought something to my attention the other day, and he reminded me of it today to speak one in this message. And he said to me, um, people who are competitive, who com feel a need to compete with you, are competing with you by themselves. Because <laughs> kingdom people, you're not even involved. You're not in it. People are over there somewhere competing with you. He said, people who compete with you or even want to compete with you, he said, they have no peace. He said, there's no peace. I just heard there's no rest 
for the wicked. And that competitiveness turns evil too. That competitiveness turns evil too because it be, it's coming from a dark place. It's coming from a place of trying to shun you from meaning you harm, from trying to um, dim your light, trying to outdo you when all you're doing is showing up as who you are, as who God has called you to be and doing what God has called you to do. And so when you want to outdo that, it turns evil. And here's what God also said to me about that. He said that when people are trying to outdo you and compete with you, he said, here's the thing. They're doing it in their own flesh, in their own strength, so to speak. He said, but it's me in you that causes you to triumph and move in this way. He said, it's me in you. He said, so when they're trying to compete with you, ultimately, they're trying to compete with me. That's what God said. They're trying to compete with God or the God in you. And he said, it's impossible to be. The reason being is because it's impossible to be God. Not that you're in any competition, but for them, which is why they have no peace. They'll never be able to outdo God. You are not walking in your own power. You are not walking in your own strength. You are walking by the Spirit of God, by the Holy Spirit. It's God's power that's in you, that's leading you, that's working through you. So they're in their own strength and or the tactics of the enemy. They're using, you know, they're in devil energy, so to speak. Their demons are driving them. And they're trying to outdo the God in you. They're trying to compete with the God in you. And there's no peace in that. They have no peace. None. And so again, King of People, they want to trade places with you. The reason why people compete with you too is because they want to trade places with you. They want to be what they see in you. And, and some of those things they want to see it's a good thing because they see the Christ in you. They see God in you. They see your anointing. They see your gifts. They see the light. The thing is this, if they want to be those things that they see in you, they have to do things God's way. You know, kingdom people, it's not that you be that you're perfect at all. And it's not that you haven't had things you have and had to overcome. You have had ways about yourself that you had to let go of, but you walked through your process. You did what you needed to do. You changed, you transformed, you learned, you grew, all those things. You turned over a new leaf, and that's what it's going to take for these people. They're going to have to turn over a new leaf. They can't trade places with you. They want to, but they can't, but they can become who God has called them to be. They can, but they have to do that. They have to surrender to God. They have to do things his way. And unfortunately, many people don't want to do that. Not all. And prayerfully, some people will turn over a new leaf. They will yield their themselves to God. They will yield themselves to Christ. They will give themselves over to Jesus Christ because of what they see in you. That's a lot of the whole point. It's nothing but God's glory resting upon you. And that's what they want for themselves. That is why they want to trade places with you because they want the glory of God resting upon them, but they're not doing things God's way for his glory to rest upon him. They're not doing that. You know, um, also while um, God and I were in conversation, <laughs> so to speak, or he was just really speaking to me actually, and he was just even showing me how when people are wanting the results that you get. In other words, some people have this thing where they're like, why her? Why him? They feel like it should be them. Yet, they didn't do what you did. They didn't surrender themselves to God. And some people be so stuck on what you used to be, issues you used to have. I had to tell God again, last night when he brought up a certain person to me, it just keeps coming to me, this certain person, elder, who's stuck in my past, like 20 years ago or so, when I was young, when I was in my 20s, I'm a year over a century, and they stuck in my 20s, you know, them days when I was, I was young, and I, 
It was a lot going on, put it like that. And so I said, well, they can be stuck there. I'm not. And the thing is, King of People, why, how are you so stuck on somebody's past? Here's why. First of all, you're stuck in your own life. Secondly, that's where they want you to be. They want you, people want you to stay right where you're at or where you were, should I say. But you're not doing that. And even in that case, this is a person that wants to trade places with me, that feels like it should be them. But this is a person that ain't never once surrendered to God. And how do I know? Because God have told me so. In fact, I'm almost sure that they don't even believe in God. So how can you get the results? See, God said to me, your blessings come from me. Your blessings come from me. So I can't bless other people. They want to be blessed like that, but they're not walking in my ways. They're not letting me lead them. They're not doing what I'm telling them to do. And I just heard, and at some point, God ain't even leading them or trying to tell them nothing no more because they, they didn't listen. At some point, God will stop trying to lead you. Because he know that you ain't interested in what he's talking about. And here's the thing. Yet, you want, you, the natural king people, but these ones that's like this, feel that it should be them. They feel like God's glory should be resting on them, even though they don't do things God's way. Even though they operate in evil. Yes, they present themselves as good. They want it to be, they want to look that way, but they know that that's not what they are. They know what they do behind the scenes, and sometimes it's not behind the scenes. It's in your face, because if you're sitting up at other people slandering, got something negative to say all the time about some trying to put, somebody trying to put them down when they ain't do, they doing what God's telling them to do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's like, that's pretty obvious. And what God said to me, too, is that it's a difference between... You know, some people feel like you're judging them or they feel like you think you all that and this, this, and the other. But all you're doing is walking in your truth. But God said it's a difference between judging people and attacking people and their character. And it's it's a whole nother thing that's just telling the truth, seeing what it is. And kingdom people, you just say what it is for the most part. You tell the truth. You're not judging and slandering nobody, but if this is what it is with you, or this is what's going on, this is what it is, and you're just stating the facts. You're not standing in a way to bring nobody down or to attack them. In fact, you're saying it to bring correction. Sometimes when you have to point out people's issues, you're saying it to in love to help correct them. You're not trying to make them feel bad. That's what these people do when they're doing that. They're trying to make you look bad. They're trying to pull you down. They're trying to present you in a negative light. That's all evil. <laughs> I just heard demonic. That's not, you're not doing that to offer anything helpful. You're doing it to be hateful and negative and to cause a problem. But again, kind of people, these people do these things because they want to trade places with you. They want it to be them and not you. So they have to pull you down. And sometimes in their twisted mind, they think that it's going to make them what they see in you, which it doesn't, by the way. So kind of people, listen, be encouraged. I know you already are, but when these people, and you become aware of or whatever. Because at this point, I'm sure you don't care. <laughs> but God has a way of still making you aware of what's going on. And just showing you where these people stand. What's going on with them. Their disposition in themselves. And in their in life, period. In their, their own lives. And I'm just hearing they're not showing up the way God desires for them to show up in their life. But they want to be what God desired for them to be <laughs> without them going through the steps and walking it out. Can the people, they want to trade places with you. I was going somewhere with that, but I got distracted by some other downloads I started getting. So yeah, can the people, can the people, can the people, can the people. I'm going to say it one more time. They want to trade places with you. And that's all I have to say about that. 
Now, King of the People, if you like this video and or if it resonates with you, please just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Click on that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Thank you. And make sure you click on that bell so that you can receive a notification every time I upload a new video. Something like this from King of the People. Also, King of the People, I want to say thank you all so very much for those of you who have been sowing seeds into me and my ministry. I really appreciate you all so very much. And King of People, if there's any information that you need to know about me, you can find all that right down below in the description box. King to people, you all know I love you so very much. I really don't want to leave you, but I do have to go right now. But I will be back to hold my king of people down. My king of people, above all else, let the Holy Spirit lead you in all things at all times. King of people, we are unmovable, we are unstoppable, we are unshakable, and we are unbreakable. That is my time. Jesus girl is out. Peace.